You think we're gonna beat all these games? It's the Boy Lock Show! The BB are here with a little bit of BL and it's a big JK because we're not going to the radio tower. We have to do this gym first. Whoopsie. So yeah, we just got to do this before we can do the radio tower. So we're going to do the ice gym. Yep. Hey, I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. That's really the only thing that we're going to be scared of in this gym is freeze percent. Because it's small, right? Uh, yeah, it's I don't think anything. Nothing exceeds 10%. But we only have two Pokemon, so, you know, there's there's a chance that we... Ugh, do you remember how many Pokemon this guy has? This guy? Do you, did you see that just now? I did not, no. Let me check this here. Oh, because you're going to Thunder Dance if so? Okay, yeah, he's got three Pokemon, so we're... Yeah. Check it out, guys. Mangy Meat is now a Thunder Dancer. So we're going to make it rain, and then we're just going to roll off some Thunders. We're not worried about this Aurora Beam. Uh, sounds because it's intense. not strong at all. Uh, and then here comes the thunder. Bang! That's gonna hurt him. That's one. And it's five, five turns. The rain stays. I think it's two to five. I think, oh, it's random. I think it's random, but I'm not sure. Hey, it's Lisa. Lisa, how you doing, girl? <clears throat> Lisa is a champion. Mm -hmm. Last week, we talked about the difference between champions and survivors, who are all heroes. Yes. But there is a distinction. Champions like the next level of hero. Exactly. There's the one, they're the ones who uh, made it through the Elite Four. Exactly. And the survivors are just the ones who didn't die. Mm hmm Because there were several we didn't bring to the Elite Four. Right. Can't bring them all. And there was one lost. And there was one lost one in the lost Elite Four. Hero. Yes. Neither a survivor nor a champion. He was mm -hmm. so close to being both. But a special place in our hearts. Yes. Nonetheless. Rip, Fuego. Man. Darn, I couldn't do a thing. Yeah, you did pretty bad in that fight, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shoot. I couldn't beat him. <laughs> Whoa. So this gym is fun because it has the ice panels. It means you just slide forward to the next... Uh, the next place that you can possibly tile. stop. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. And we're just kind of doing it randomly here because... We're just fighting these guys. Mm -hmm. I know Price's secret. Get it? Price? Because... Because ice. Uh... And all these guys are snowboarders. And all the girls are skiers. Actually, there might Whoa. be... There might be one Shoulder. girl that's a boarder. Alright. So this guy also has a bunch of Pokemon. So we're gonna Thunder Dance him. Yeah, and it's so miss. nice that we're faster. So that we don't get hit. You don't lose extra a turn time. before dancing. Yeah. That defense up ain't going to help you, buddy. Not against this. Not against this. That's a special. And Mangy Meat's got a huge special. <laughs> it's so big. 120. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Plus stab thunder. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> get out of the way, Cloyster. Get yeah, out of the way. Make way. You're out of here. It's, it's just ridiculous how strong he is right now. Yeah, because stab, stab Thunder is 180. Wow. <laughs> Shelter, you don't that even know what's lick. coming. That little tongue is like a lightning rod. Mm. He's like, he licked the end of the battery, and he got more than he bargained for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Farewell. Man, electrocution's weird. It's, it's terrifying, actually. Yeah. There's a lot of scary stuff out there, Foker. What the heck did I just say? Those, yeah, what did you say? I said, said like Foker. Folk. Oh, you were going to say folk? I, it's like I said folks, but I don't know what the word I mixed it with was supposed to be. I'm going to restore my PP. <laughs> to what state? It's like I combined folks what? and fucker. <laughs> That's weird. Folks or Foker. Foker. Um, what were you going to say? I was just about to say something. I, that, I don't know if I remember. That tangent was not worth interrupting you for. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what I was going to talk about at some point. That wasn't what I was going to say, but... Um, buck up, buck I up, talked up, a little up, bit up, up, in uh, Mario about um, going to Kyle H's house of Champions of Norath and Fortune Street Fortune fame. Street, yeah. What a guy. Uh, we talked about it in that series as well in Norath 
that Kyle like makes his own armor yes. and stuff for cosplays, and it's very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, so for Bards, we're planning on shooting a video, a uh, music video. Oh, cool. And uh, we're going to use like costumes to suit the suit the theme. That's awesome. People um, love it when you do that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're going to... So he's helping me make a... I was asking him, like, hey, what kind, what is, what kind of stuff you got? And he showed me around in his basement where he's got all his stuff out on mannequins. That's awesome. Like like suits of armor. Like, I didn't know he like had that. Several of them. It's really wow. cool. It's like walking through like a... Um, like a shop in an RPG. Like, <laughs> it really is. He's got he's That's got full amazing. suits of armor and like a like a full, like several weapons. Wake and, up, mangy meat. Man, it's cool. That sounds amazing. Um, but so I was looking around and I was like, you know, I could use like a. I'm gonna look around for like another shield, and then because uh, the one that he had, he only had one, and we were gonna use it for, um. One of, for, as one of the props but we kind of wanted another so I was like well I think I'll just look around for another one he's like well do you want to come make one sometime I was like yeah sure so he just invites me over we go into his basement you know he gives me like some some uh ear protection and like goggles and we just he just has me start hammering away on this sheet of metal and so we made like a buckler which is just like a you know a small steel. round shield yeah I can show you a picture after the session here but it's it turned out like really cool nice and it's uh it was super fun to just like go into a go into a basement and just make hammer something? on some metal yeah to like make something that you it's such a primal craft yeah like it made me like really <sighs> kind of respect blacksmithing and like yeah what what went into it back in the day when it was kind of in its heyday. Yeah. When it, well, it's like it was really, like, it's like artful. It was like necessary for yeah. it to be done well because mm -hmm. it was like a survival thing. Yeah. And just how much time it takes to go into like one object. Check out her parallel turn, Vaughn. That, that's what she just said. Check out my parallel turn. Is that the stance that I, she's. I, I think that's a skiing <laughs> move, but I don't know about skiing. We're, we're checking it. We're trying to check it out. You don't know what you mean though girl i'm not gonna bother to dance in this fight because there's just one pokemon yeah so i'm just gonna thunder till i hit just yolo yeah we already beat that jinx that was kind of the scariest thing in this whole gym as you saw it whittled us down pretty good with the sleep mm -hmm. um but we got her and the lack of thunder thunder dance because mm -hmm. our, our rain wore off while we were asleep all right, I think this is the last the guy last, before the gym. The last trainer. Yeah. It's a cool little pre-theme there. While he's talking. Yeah. yeah. When it starts to kind of get groovy. Oh, this guy has the other down. the other family. So we're actually going to switch. It's a ground ice? Ice ground, yep. That's an interesting combination. We're actually going to catch one of these guys. Like permafrost. Yeah. We're going to catch one of these guys in the ice path, which is coming up pretty pretty soon. Well, not really, I guess. Oh, no. oh, nice! It failed. I guess it fails if you're not preparing an attack. Oh. That makes you retain one HP. Okay. If you would be killed. So this should be super effective. Yep. Wow. So even though they're ice type, they're unfortunately weak against water. Well, unfortunately for them, not for us. It's actually no. very fortunate Great for, for us. us because we don't have anything that's good against ice right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, are there any so. Pokemon that are just ice? Yes, um, but not in the first two not generations. Here. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Because let's see, there's there's Articuno, there's Dugong, there's... Is that it for the... And then Cloyster. I think that's it for Gen 1. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, um... What's his name? Golduck? Nope, he's water. He's just water. Just water, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then in Gen 2, they added Sneasel, who is Ice Dark. Uh, Delibird is Ice Flying. And uh, Swinub is Ice Ground. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's not right. 
Oh, the other really cool thing about doing that with Kyle is that, like, we're just... All it was was hammering metal. It was like one tool that we used for a little bit to kind of like round out this hole, this dent that we made. Kind of uh -huh. like, if you imagine like a buckle, like a little dome. Like right. The like center of it. That was like the only time we used anything other than just a hammer and like another metal tool. So it was like, this is kind of what it actually takes. Right. You know, it would, would have taken. And you're right, it's like really primal to just smash on something with the hammer until it looks a certain way and to, to like shape it and form it how you want you skated oh i see a way i think oh nope that's not what i want i need to find a way to get beside this guy oh wait no that doesn't help me either hmm remember the solution to this i remember getting stuck for hours on one of the rooms in the ice path though and i like oh. wrote it down on a piece of paper I'm trying to tell where i even need to get to yeah where is the simulator? somebody's probably screaming at their screen right now left yeah up and right one tile that's where i need to land mm-hmm so I need to get to that one right there, which means I need to get to that one. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, Whew. time to fight the ice man. So what we're gonna do here, the cool thing about Rain Dance is not only does it make Thunder 100% accurate, its main purpose is actually to power up water moves. Oh, Rain Dance? Yes. So we're going to thunder the first two Pokemon, and then we're going to switch to Africa and use a powered up surf hmm. on the third Pokemon. It, so it makes their moves more powerful too, right? Yes, but these Pokemon don't have any water moves. Oh. So we don't even have to worry about that. This guy's character in the manga was insane. He was like super bitter to, mm -hmm. to counteract the like icy, you know, aesthetic. Whoa. He's like a super bitter guy, and he was, He's, he was he actually, like it. he was paralyzed from the waist down in the manga he was in a wheelchair and um he he was trying to invent a time machine so he could go back in time and prevent the woman he loved from dying very similar to mr freeze actually yeah um and which is probably where they stole it from but it was super compelling because he was like so, he was like he was literally insane Mm -hmm. Like, he had lost touch with reality, and he didn't care about anything that stood in his way. And he was, like, killing people and hurting Pokemon and hurting his own Pokemon to try to, like, reach his end. And you had to, like, stop him from, like, tearing a hole in the fabric of time because he, like, figured out a way to do it. Wow. And, like, people... And then that was... And then, like, I think gold and silver got, like, sent through time and got lost or something. Or maybe red and blue. And, like... It was in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver arc, I think, where the people from Red and Blue teamed up from the people with Gold and Silver. Mm -hmm. It was super awesome. That's two down. And as long as we don't get frozen by Piloswine, as we switch, we're good to go. Yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> For some reason, I get the, uh, the vibe of the the Swordmaster from Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. The dojo. Oh guy. yeah, 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 yeah. Where you just you can't see his face because yeah, all the, the the eyebrows and the hair. Please no freeze! Up. Please no freeze! Please no freeze! Okay, good. This should do it. In right. one. A powered up surf. With the powered up surf, yeah. Plus stab should be enough to do it. This Pokemon looks but like a HP he's, tank. He's though. very strong. Yeah. yeah. We got him. All right, sweet. That's a gym. That's six badges, people. Holy smokes. That was pretty Man, easy. That was pretty easy. You are worthy of this badge. <laughs> All caps, exclamation point. Is there like a tiny hook at the bottom of his cane, or is that supposed to be a tiny shadow? It's very strange. Oh, I think it is it's supposed to be a shadow. Yeah. 
the glacier badge. Ba -da -la. Now all our special stats go up, and we can use Whirlpool. And he gives us Powder Snow, which is a decent ice type move. What's it? What's it oh mean? no, Icy Wind. Sorry. It does damage and lowers their speed. It's like 60 base power. Okay. So it's all right. So it's a twofer. It's a twofer. Yeah, it's a twofer. Or it's more like a buy one, get one half off. <laughs> it's not really a but, get one free. Yeah. It's a BOGO HO. Yep. Yeah. Buy one, get one half off. BOGO HO. That's the acronym, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, before we close this episode out, Vaughn, there's a couple things we need to talk to the viewers about. Oh, okay. uh, Oh, here's Liz again. Oh, Liz. Good evening, boys. Listen, listen. I used to get like a quarter chub when she asked if I was awake <laughs> when I was a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Because uh, that's like a very movie. Yeah. Like the calling and just like late at the night. The late night, yeah. He's still awake. Middle school booty call. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, okay, the first, th oh, the first thing is uh, next week, we're not signing off yet. But next week on the show, <clears throat> we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a Zubat, and we would like you to submit Ew. names. Oh yes, for that. Uh, I'm gonna be picking up. Do a we want names for Meryl too. Yes, we need names for Meryl too. Thank you, Vaughn. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, we'll have notified the Discord on that already. But yes, submit your name suggestions for uh, Meryl and Zubat. Uh, we're gonna be benching Africa for a while because we're gonna have to use Meryl to get through. Uh, some of the next few few areas because mm -hmm. we're gonna need whirlpool and we don't want to waste whirlpool on Africa. So oh, I see. that's what's gonna be happening there. It's a it's not a great move. No, it's not. It's like okay. the water version of fire spin. Okay. Low damage trap. Um, and then other than that, uh, we did, we have we have come to the end of the non-linear portion of the game. It becomes uh, linear again. So, yep. Because oh, so, we have one gym left of the non-linears. Exactly. So we're going to be facing off against uh, the hardest of the three. Uh, it's it's arguable, but really not. The hardest of the three, which is uh, Miss Jasmine and Olivine here, the steel-type gym. Uh, we don't have much of anything good to go against her. Yeah. So... But uh, before that, we're going to have to do the radio tower, which is what I thought we were going to be doing today. But we had to do the ice but gym nope, first. Tricked you. Tricked us. We tricked you, too. Uh, oh, that orange is nice. Yeah. I'd call it yellow, but... Well, I'd call it goldenrod, actually. My eyes are a little goofy. <laughs> so, before we bench our current heroes for a while... We're going to use our our Fantastic Four that we've been rocking. Mm, the freaking A-team here. Ooh, and we're going to run through the... That is the A-team. <laughs> we're going to wow. run through the, the Goldenrod Radio Tower and thwart Team Rocket once and for all. We're going to actually meet Giovanni. Ooh, again. Uh, so now we're signing off, folks. And until then... Uh, we're gonna have what are we gonna have? We're gonna have something brand new is happening on Mondays that we haven't even decided we yet. Even no, we haven't even. Well, maybe we've decided it. You don't know that yeah. yet. We're just not gonna tell you. We're just not telling you yet. Yeah, we're tricky. Uh, and then on Slithery. Wednesday, we're finishing up Mario. Like an Atkins. Look, there's a new guy here. Uh, and in the meantime, you can hit us up on Twitter. Discord is where you'll want to submit the name suggestions for these Pokemon. The Instagram is where you'll find the snack log. Yes, All snacks, and, snacks sodas and sodas everywhere. Lots. And if you, uh, you know, want to do a boys lock of your own, we've got those resources for you. Hit us up, and it'll be a fun time. Until yeah, next join, week, join the, uh, become a part of the, the fun, the Pokemon Stadium boys, the boys stadium, uh, Hall of Fame. Play the boys lock yourself.